All right, Halos, welcome back. Uh, we are once again playing some more Minecraft Dungeons, and today I think we'll do some Redstone Mines, and then if we have time, we'll do some Arch Haven, which is a, is a bonus little side one. I think it's not super short, so I'm not sure if we'll have time, but we'll go ahead and see. Um, let's go ahead and just do the recommended one, the default five, it looks like. Got a few different things that we can unlock here. Uh, but yeah, got power level 22, so we can get our gear and artifacts anywhere from 18 to 28. And uh, this is also the little story or whatever, if you want to check that out. Oops, didn't mean to do that all the way back. All right, let's go ahead and just jump right in. I believe this one's actually, if I remember correctly, a little bit, a little bit more difficult of a uh, of a map. There are unsettling rumblings in the mountains of the Overworld. Whispered rumors say the Illagers are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines. Hmm. Something of soot, metal, and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Thought I said carnivorous for a second. All right, hyping me up. I appreciate that. Thank you. All right, locate villagers. It sounds like a gas, but it's just the the cat's noise. If you get hit by the. Uh, those minecarts, they'll actually damage you quite a bit, and um, not only that, but they'll also, ooh, rapid crossbow, they'll also knock you back quite a bit, so you can get knocked off the edge and stuff. Um, this won't really increase our level. That's an interesting noise, slayer crossbow. Okay. Anyways, uh, this has a high fire rate, like really high, and a lot of ammo, obviously, you can see there, but obviously it's way less damage. Um, I think I'm gonna stick with mine. Hits multiple targets, powerful shots, 86 range damage, it's pretty good. Small corridors, got like a kind of a, a down a down here in a mine or something. Uh, wow, those guys are huge. Ooh, yeah, that's gonna hurt. Let's just uh, use our bow here, I think. Goodness. Yeah, this hurts quite a bit. Can kind of tank it a little bit. Oh my goodness. Ouch, that hurt a lot. <clears throat> Alright, um, what did we get there? Did we get anything interesting? Spelunker armor we got, but we already have that. It's the same level, I mean. So it's not really helping us anything in particular. But yeah, we got I think cave spiders. Oh, and you do also get to see spawners for the first time as well. <laughs> pretty cool. I like it actually. It looks pretty, pretty looks pretty neat. Get some free emeralds here. <clears throat> Another spawner. Uh, we have any enchanting levels? We do, but not enough to to do the second level. We need two levels, I believe. Um, how about we get rid of this? Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of this for now. That'll give us enough cha enchanting levels to do in level two of that. Which is quite nice. And if we get level three, that'd be good as well. But that's going to be three more levels that I need. Um, enchanted stuff. Either, either, do, either need to get rid of this, which I don't really want to do right now, but I probably will have to. Or it would have to get rid of both of these plus one, which I don't have the option to do, I don't think, right now. Um, maybe we'll get rid of Glaive, but I think I'll wait on it for a sec. Alright, actually, let's just go this way. A little bit safer. Um, my mushroom is still really low leveled, right? Yeah, it is. How much lower is this gonna take me? By down by two. Yeah, it's not worth it right now. But I would really like to have a mushroom. I need that uh, increased attack speed, basically. Try not to get hit by those minecarts, like I said before. All right, nothing over in that corner. 
just picked up something. What was that? Oh, wolf armor, I think, right? Something like that. All right, I got some more supplies. Don't mind if I do. Let's free these guys, free the villagers, one of three. Fire trail hurts quite a bit actually. Gotta be careful of those guys. Free that guy real quick. Alright. Freed all the villagers here, nice. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything on the top as well though. I think I didn't check this area yet. Oh there's a guy, he got killed by the minecart though. Yeah, we we checked everything I think. We didn't grab this apple though, so let's go ahead and do that. I'll take as much health as I can get, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah, atmosphere is really cool in this in this map though, for sure. Bye. <laughs> Once again, try not to get run over by the minecarts. Definitely some better weapons though, I think, to be honest. A pig here. There we go, nice. We got his stuff. We got a pickaxe. Pretty good level one, actually. Uh, what is that? Level 24. Does that increase my power level? It doesn't, sadly. It does 89 damage though, that's really nice. It's pretty much twice what I'm doing right now. So, honestly, I should, I should get it. It's a little bit less speed, a little bit less area of effect. Let's, let's use it for a little bit, see how we like it. I, I do go quite a bit off of, uh, feeling, honestly. That's pretty nice for slimes, actually. Looks like we have a evoker somewhere here. Here he is. Ouch. There we go, we got him. Picked up daggers. Ooh, nice. Level 28, wow, those are huge. I love daggers, man. Alright, that's gonna increase our power level, actually. Let's go ahead and grab that. What is, uh, what's our stuff? Artifact Synergy, Poison Cloud. Not too worried about either of those. After <clears throat> um, defeating Maw, there's a 10% chance to increase your attack speed by 50%. Freezing. Yeah, all, both, all of those are nice, honestly, pretty much. Let's try the daggers, though. Yeah, the daggers I love. Uh, how much damage is it exactly? 28 to 31, but obviously it's really fast attacks. And then like like I just got there, if you get a strength potion, it's a lot of, a lot of extra damage also. Nothing over there. Yes, please. All right, let's continue on. Uh, let's make sure we didn't miss anyone over here. Looks like we definitely missed a few guys. All 
Alright. So just a couple more down here and we should be good. Nice strength potion is super good. There we go, that's the last guy. And yeah, we already got everyone else. Okay, I think we're good. Pretty sure we killed all the enemies there. If not, oh well. We got most of them. That's for sure. Looks like I took a little bit of uh, a little bit of poison damage there. Spider, one of the spiders must have hit me. Yeah, that's the one of the big problems with uh, fighting. Uh, oh, nice level up! Let's go. With fighting with slower attacking weapons, is that uh, you can get hit by some of these slower moving enemies pretty easily, pretty quickly. Okay, nothing down there. Nothing. Oh, there's something. Let's grab that real quick. Arrows and gems. Yes, please. Oh, I thought that was an enemy. It's like, I don't want to walk all the way across there, so... We're just gonna shoot him. But it was just my cat, so it was good. It's all good. Uh, nothing hidden over here, it looks like. Let's continue on. It often, not every weapon or anything, and not every attack, but it often does uh, like kind of stun the enemies a little bit when you are just like regular attacking. really helping me out here, saving some time. There we go. I don't remember the uh, explosion there, actually, so that's kind of cool. Spelunker armor, what's we got here? Same level. Um, damage weapon boost, weapon damage boost aura, but this is fine. So yeah, the, the weapon damage boost also applies for your uh, bow, but I like the melee one, honestly. A little bit more. Try not to walk in this lava. This is a big boss, I remember. We gotta run away from him a little bit, because he'll chase us. That hurt. Wait for him to do that, and then we can attack him. Somehow, kind of got there. We unlocked the end somehow without killing him. Not sure how that happened, but I'll take it. Nice. You're supposed to kill him before you can escape, but I'll take it. Rapid crossbow. Got one more level. Ooh, that actually does increase our power level. So I will, I will use it right now, even though it's way worse than what I have. <laughs> Um, we can try using it though. Yeah, it does attack pretty quickly at least, as the name suggests. Uh, is there any secret stuff? Ooh, there's someone over there. Let's check him out for sure. What is that guy? Blacksmith. Okay, yeah, I think that's the guy that upgrades your weapon levels. So nice. Yeah, perfect. Let's finish this level, and then I think we will have enough time to do Archhaven. The Illagers are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. Yep, yep. All right. Let's open this up real quick. Harvester. Okay, that's the one that does a big uh, explosion around you. 
Yep, that one's pretty nice. New mission type, Ancient Hunt. You can now join the Ancient Hunt to access the Ancient Hunt through the Other Dimensions tab of the Mission Selection screen or the Mysterious Cave and Camp. These challenging, challenging missions let you offer items and enchantment points for a chance at finding rewards unlike any other. Yeah, that's like a newer thing. Uh, back in the day, I don't, that like didn't exist really. <laughs> but it's pretty cool. Uh, it gives us level 25, power level 25, so it helps quite a bit. Uh, I think we're pretty much good on almost everything else, though. That's the highest level thing we have already equipped. That's pretty much the highest level. Yeah. Um, this is the highest level, roughly. And then... Yeah, it's also the highest level. So we've got pretty much the highest level of everything. Um, Alright, let's check out the blacksmith and try to have him upgrade some stuff. Let's have him upgrade my, uh, what's it called? This guy right here, the fireworks arrow. Because I am a big fan of that boy. It costs 150 to upgrade, but it's fine. So now we just have to do uh, three missions, one on default difficulty to get it unlocked or upgraded. Uh, let's check for the uh, little chest that spawns around here somewhere real fast. Doesn't look like it's down here. So yeah, that's the thing he was talking about, that little Enderman looking guy. Where is this chest? Somewhere around here. Oh, there it is. I found it. Right there. Oh, wait, maybe there's... Maybe I can't walk off that area. I thought it was, it was just a wraparound, but maybe there's like a block that I can't walk onto. Could also check inside our house actually if we wanted to. But yeah, this is where the chest is. Let's grab those free emeralds. And then let's go inside the house and check it out real fast. I don't think much anything has changed, but... Are those donuts? Oh no, I think they're like tomatoes or something. Uh, but yeah, there's a few things that changed in here for sure. Definitely things added. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's... A little bit different. We've got a frying pan over there. That's pretty cool looking. All right, let's uh, let's continue on. Let's try the um, Arch Haven that I was talking about. The kind of like secret mission that we unlocked or found out about. Uh, we could do this. I think I'll just do normal difficulty though. Yeah, let's just do normal difficulty. All right, crash the gates. Objective. All right. Oh, I guess you can hold the button down too. That's pretty cool, actually. Look at all the arrows that like pile up on his body, even before he dies. It's funny. Uh, let's check out this secret place first. There's like a little area over here, just in case there's something cool. Looks like maybe just some emeralds. That's fine. I'll take them. Take as many as I can get. All right, let's head down to the actual objective. Crash the gates under the cover of darkness. Pretty cool name. Got four, four secrets. Oh, it did not pause. At least not in the, the map menu. Maybe in the normal. <laughs> he tried to run away. Alright, let's go up this direction. Grab this stuff real fast. Looks like there's an enemy there. Oh, there's another one of them. There we go, we got him. as well, so that's good. Let's make sure we grab all of this stuff. Because that's the way to go. So there's probably some secret stuff over here. Right? 
Well, that's a cool sound. <laughs> uh, what's down here, though? Looks like a bonus area. Sometimes on this map, if I remember correctly, there's like big bonus, like open areas that are like practically not even worth exploring. Kind of like this, right? I mean, there's a few guys, and there's like a few. Uh, I thought I was gonna walk through the fire there for a second. There's a few like gyms and stuff, like urns and things, but other than that, it's not really not super worth. Other than that. Don't think there's gonna be a hidden chest that pops up there, nope. Speaking of which zero four zero of one, okay. Ooh, this looks like kinda interesting though on the map. It's kinda fancy. Make sure we grab all of those emeralds. Oh, okay. Looks like a boss area or something. Or like a, a little wave mini waves that you have to fight off. Alright, I'm down. Let's try it. How do we activate it? Just walking by it, okay. Oh, that was easy. Alright, mercenary armor and a bundle of arrows. Uh, is that going to increase our power level? It's not. It gives us 35% er, damage reduction, so it's a little 5% more than what we have. Oh wait, no, it's the same actually. Uh, plus 20% weapon damage boost aura, so a little bit less than what we have for melee, but it's more in terms of um, bow and everything else as well. And then, because a little bit more health as well, but literally three more health, so it's not really that big of a deal. I think I'll keep what I got on for now. But we can change it in the future if we feel like it. Let's, uh, let's try to finish this map. So I don't have to make too long of a video. Also, um, if you guys are interested, I'm doing a little bit of a recording session, so it might not be super quick before you guys can respond. But um, if you guys are interested in seeing like shorter videos of this, like just one mission per map, even the secret missions, uh, or one mission per episode is what I mean to say, um, then I'd be down to do that. Just let me know. Does mean less video or less less overall um, time, like video duration per day. Find all spells zero of three. Okay. There's one. It's over this direction. Anything? Nope. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Nice. Yeah, it seemed to kind of stun seem to have kind of stunned him for a little bit there, so that's good. Um, not sure if there's anything over there that's worth finding. I think that's the way we have to go. Just want to not get trapped by the, uh, the little guys, the little spiders. out of the arrow actually. I'm not a big fan of that. But oh well. There we go. Let's check out all the other areas as well. Always some guys spawning in, that's interesting. Uh it doesn't seem to be anything hidden back here. Alright. Nice that we have swiftness. Oh hello. Where did you guys come from now? <laughs> That's kind of funny. I like that. Alright. Um, should be the last one over here, right? Oh no, it's way over there. Okay, that's fine. Let's swing back around real quick. Wait, are we trapped? Uh-oh. Okay, good. Whew. I thought we actually trapped ourselves for a second there. That would have been bad. Alright, let's grab this last, uh, last one real quick. How do we get over there? Oh, right there. 
super easy. Okay. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> Alright, let's head back over. Oh, we probably have to go back up and around. Shoot. I'm <laughs> just wasting time. It's fine, though. You guys can enjoy the uh, nice scenery. Looks good, right? There we go. Yep. Gates down, and then we can head down here. And that gate is also open. It wasn't before. New objective, explore the cave. Alright. What we got in here? Some nice little loot here, it looks like. Love to see that. objective find another exit okay there we go there's another exit new objective find another exit okay interesting oh there we go Still got some strength left, so that's good. Nice little generation there. Is that it? Yep, nice. Door opened. Okay, and I think we're good. Yeah, victory. Sweet. Alright. Driving back to camp, let's get our bonus artifact unlock here. Windhorn. When the windhorn echoes throughout the forest of the overworld, the creatures of the night tremble with fear. What does that do exactly? I forgot. Five blocks pushed. Oh, okay. Ten second cooldown. Pushes the enemy away from you and slows them briefly. But this will increase our power, so that's gonna be nice. Wait, it won't? What? That's confusing. Okay. Whatever, I guess the aggregate of our power isn't high enough. Probably because we have two 24s and one 22, but I'm swell. Hmm. Actually, I'll use this for now since it's not going to increase our power. I'll get rid of the soul lantern, and that should be good. Yeah, that means I can use our slayer crossbow actually as well, which is nice. Good stuff. How much damage does this do again? 86 or so. Nice. Alright, sweet. Um, that was all for today. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, we were able to do Redstone Mines and also Arch Haven. So next time we'll probably do Desert Temple and then focus on from, or uh, continue on from there. Um, we also had Daily Trial down here, it looks like. Might want to do that pretty soon. What is, uh, Zero one completed group of woods. So we got trials have like special things on them. So mob damage is increased by 50%. So that's hurt. That hurts us. Mob speed is increased by 50%, which hurts us. Players have the freezing enchantment equipped as well, though. And then the difficulty, of course, you can change. I believe. Yeah. Support like a little bit less than that, though. I should probably do this one, honestly. Uh, mission drops are a little bit different, obviously, depending on what level you do. Um, but yeah. Alright, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.